All right, so we're gonna talk about adjusting brakes. These are V-brakes. Um, so these are pretty common on uh, either hybrid bikes, city bikes, or um, mountain bikes. Um, but the, kind of, the concept of adjusting them is pretty much the same for all the other brakes, um, just minor changes. So a lot of people have a lot of problems with uh, their brakes squeaking. And that's a very easy adjustment to, uh, to fix. Basically what it means is either your brakes are pretty worn, um, so you want to replace the pads. And you can see on the actual pads that there's, um, that there's a wear line on most of them. So if it's past the wear, wear line or if it's wearing incorrectly, like you can actually, so this is a quick release right here. Basically you're gonna push these two le uh, levers together, push down on this piece right here and it opens them up. So you can see the pads and see how they're worn. Um, and you may ne just need to replace them. They're pretty inexpensive. They go anywhere from four to $15 a pair. Um, so it's definitely worth replacing them. It's definitely a big safety issue. So to correct the, um, the squeaking, if, it, if they are new brakes, um, what, basically what you have to do is brakes aren't meant to hit completely flat on a bicycle rim. Um, that's what creates the squealing usually. Um, so basically what, you're, what you need to do is you need to toe in the brakes. So just imagine like, if, so the squeaking noise comes from when the brakes hit completely flat. So towing in basically just imagine your toes going in. Um, so basically when the brake hits, this is very dramatic, but when the brake hits, the one side um, hits and goes down and eventually hits the whole thing, they flex. Um, so you can kind of hear the squeaking on this uh, because the brake pads are completely are completely flat. Um, so basically what you're gonna do is you just take your five millimeter Allen and unscrew the brake and you can see how it kind of shifts all over the place, it goes up and down, side to side, all over the place. Um, basically has a bunch of, it basically pivots um, on these washers. So you're gonna tow in the brake. Um, it doesn't have to be really drastic, it doesn't have to be like that, um, but just, you know, ju just, just enough so you're gonna get rid of the squeaking and so that it breaks properly. Make sure it's hitting the rim um, really nice, so basically make sure it's nice and level um, to the rim. Also make sure it's not too low, make sure it's not too high. If it's too high, it's gonna hit the, um, the tire and it could actually potentially blow out the tire just from all the friction and the heat. Um, if it's too low, it's just not gonna break on, on the surface properly and you're, uh, you're not gonna be able to stop quickly enough. Uh, so let me adjust both of these pads and then we'll see if it makes any noise. So now it's nice and quiet, no more squeaking. Um, it's also gonna break a, a little better. But you, can, but you can see how if I spin the wheel slowly, it just stops. So the reason for that is that it could be either too tight or it could be uh, misadjusted.